which is it? Well, actually, I think that's the only system this game came out on. Because I don't believe the PS2 version ever got this. I'm doing a simulated game with Strasbourg. Uh, let's see. I should mention a few things. I'll just, I'll just, I'll do a quick simulated game with Strasbourg, and then switch up the pitching modes because this game has several pitching modes I was not aware of, including this weird pulse pitching system, which is interesting. I don't remember seeing it in the other versions, but for now I'm just going to use the meter. I zoomed in the camera a little bit, so it's easier for me to select my pitch location. Uh, let's get things started with a change-up. We're going to aim for the blue weak zone right there, and the controller starts to vibrate as I approach the corners like that, so it gets harder to really aim it. So keep that in mind. Let's put this one in a nasty location there. Down the pitch button. There's my meter up there. Wow. That was nowhere close. <laughs> I got to work on my uh, meter timing. Okay, uh, sinker. It's actually supposed to be a strikeout pitch, isn't it? Let's put it between the red zones. Yeah, that was off. Yeah, that was too late. <sighs> Again, it's a strikeout pitch. Let's do a change up inside. Yeah, it's starting to vibrate a bit. I had to turn off the music because, you know, licensing. And that is not a good location for that pitch. You do not want a hanging change up right in this sweet spot. Let's put a fastball right there in the upper corner. Let's throw it early just in case. That was not early, but that's a pretty, that's a pretty, that's a generous fuzzy strike there. That was, that was definitely a ball. Not complaining. We can't get ahead of the count anymore without a strikeout, so let's do a slurve to finish him off. So a high slurve, it'll sink close towards his belt. That wasn't much of a sink. <laughs> I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, let's do a change up and strike him out inside. I guess Strasburg doesn't like throwing inside balls. That was pretty low, I guess. That was a, that was a walk. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, sorry. Try it again. Uh, let's do a change up in this guy's weak spot for an easy strike. See what we can do. Well, he swung at it and it was a ball, but I uh, gotta work on my pitch location. Sinker outside. Let's let the sinker curve inside. Let's see what happens. It curved inside the strike zone. Can't catch that. Go up and get that, doofus. <laughs> Just sitting there. It wasn't out of play. <laughs> anyway, uh, change up. Let's do a high change up. Let's let it drop into the strike zone a little bit. Got him. <laughs> Three pitch K. <laughs> Three PK. Okay, uh, my change up's looking good. Let's get an easy strike here with the change up. This guy's a good batter, though, right? A high changeup. That was terrible. So much for getting ahead in the count. Let's do a fastball up. Yeah, a high fastball. Yep, that was a K. I don't like that location, but it was a K. Let's see if we can get ahead in the strikeout. Let's see if we can get ahead in the strike count. Uh, pitch count, excuse me. Outside changer. That's the weak spot right there. So even if he made contact with it, it probably wasn't a good spot for him anyway. All right, let's throw this one out of the strike zone. Um, high fastball. We'll see if it drifts into the strike zone. Yeah, was, I threw it. I threw it early, and it wound up being way outside. Okay, so we're gonna do a change up through the strike zone. Swing batter. He got it. That's a ground out. Right to the shortstop. I'll take that against a good batter. Yep, against a good batter. I'll take that. By the way, we're playing the Orioles in this simulated game. I can't see who any of the players are. Not that it really matters. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe uh, one of my viewers knows who these people are. Because this is from the 2012 season when they sucked, I want to say. They won 70 games. Well, actually, I think it was the year before. They only won 69 games. So, you know. But I think this is when the Orioles started to turn it around. That changeup's looking pretty good. Let's do the sinker. Um, let it sink through the bottom. Whoops, that was way out. Sorry. That was pretty bad. Let's do a sinker again, but we'll go a bit further outside. I threw that early. Okay, so a 2 1 count. Fastball low. That was supposed to be low. <laughs> <laughs> I have to figure this out eventually. 
Uh, slur. We'll keep this. We'll make this a low slur. Through the hot zone. He didn't bite. <laughs> I like the location there, but he didn't bite. Okay, we're gonna go sinker through the hot zone. He took it, but it's a foul ball. Unplayable foul ball. Uncatchable foul ball, anyway. Change up high. Now let's do a change up through the hot zone. Whoops. Walked him. I mean, I gotta really work on my location. Uh, change up. We'll let this one drop through the outside. Nope, too far out. I want it to drop through his hot zone right there. He's got a hot zone, so basically don't throw it belt high unless you throw it inside. You can throw it inside belt high, outside to the corners, or low. But if you're going to throw it belt high, make sure it stays belt high. So we can challenge him like this if we don't drift into any one of his hot zones. See? I like that location, but it was a ball. Okay, let's do a change up that drops, that drops from the belts to the knees. I didn't want it there, but that's a very good location. <laughs> that's actually a good spot for a changeup, now that I think about it. Okay, let's throw a fastball that drops just below the belt. Like that. Okay? Just trying to keep it out of his hot zones. A uh, changeup that drops just below the belt. That wasn't below the belt. I can grab that. The computer automatically moves you towards the center of the ball once you're inside of it, so that's pretty good. I like that. That was an okay batter, apparently. Okay, let's use a weak. Let's use some weak pitches to start off with. Drop it just below the belt inside. That was terrible. I need to practice with the slurve. Just start outside, let it drift through the strike zone. How do I do the slurve? I'm, only, I'm not willing to use it against a good batter. Here's another slur. Starting outside. They get slurved inside. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta practice that. Let's do a, one more slur that starts belt high. Let's see where it ends up. That's a good location. Yeah, it's a very good location. Not gonna throw the same pitch twice, though. Sinker that starts inside belt high. Let's see where it ends up. I don't like that location. <laughs> I don't like where that ended up. Let's see where it ended up. That was a defensive. Yeah, that was in a hot zone. That was a very defensive swing, though. Let's do a fastball high. He's not going to be able to get this as long as I keep it somewhat high. Yep, that was high. Got him on the K. <laughs> Swinging. Okay, let's keep this slurve out of his high zone. Uh, slurve. Let's do a high slurve. Let's see where it ends up. That was way too high. Okay, let's do another slurve. I wanted to get ahead in the count, but it's probably not going to happen. That wasn't a... Whoops! That was a good location, I thought. He's going home. Yeah, he's going home. We're going to call that an E. Okay, batter, two-pitch error. Yeah, that was an error. That's the problem. <laughs> Everything else is perfectly fine about that pitch, dog. Okay, let's do... You don't want to slurve to this guy, do you? Let's start... Let's do a slurve that starts outside. See where it ends up. That's probably a terrible place to throw a slurve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I shouldn't throw slurves to this guy. Change up that starts in the middle of the plate, and it ends up nowhere where I wanted it. I wanted it to drop down, not diagonally. Fastball that drops belt high, that drops below the belt. That's a fly out. Yep. You know, he can't tag up. So that's an out. So I get one more batter. Yep, one more batter. I think my highest score was six, which I think was on the simulated game I did just before this one. Okay, uh, this guy's not so bad. This guy's got a bunch of slurves. Uh. Starts belt high outside. Yeah, I gotta pra I'm gonna practice my slurves a bit. It's a funky pitch, but I like throwing them. Okay, starts belt high outside. That one, where did that one end up? It ended up in the outfields where it ended up. Running catch by our center fielder. That's not Trey Turner. Who was the Nats center fielder back then? But a two-pitch flat on a good batter is pretty good. So that's a six. 
Do I have five or a six? The game counts how many outs I got, which is what matters. I don't really like the scoring system in these simulated games in this version. I, I, I guess I thought it was cute that the game would get... I think the sequels gave me like, a, what is it, 100 points for a good location and 50 points for a foul out, that kind of thing, which I thought was kind of cute. But that wasn't bad. And you say, yeah, that wasn't too bad. So, two fly outs. Yeah, two, I get two runs. That was an error there. You're going to blame me for that, are you? <laughs> anyway, change a few things. Knockout. We can try that. That sounds good. Before we do that, let me show you the... Let me show you the... Um, Gameplay, yeah. Pitching interface. Classic, pure analog. Pulse pitching sounds interesting. Now, the tutorial in this game says that the pulse pitching system is based on a pulsating circle. So your job is to press the button when the circle is at its smallest size. And I'll show you that in a second. Tutorials, pulse pitching. Again, sounds interesting. MLB 12 the show pulse pitching allows you to control the accuracy of your pitches with a new interactive timing mechanic after you select the pitch you want to throw the meter will start pulsating move the pitching ball marker to your pitches desired location with the L stick the last step is to try to hit the X button when the meter shrinks to the smallest possible size yeah the smaller the cursor is the more accurate the pitch will be the speed of the pulsing is determined by multiple factors. The difficulty level you choose governs the general speed and size of the pulsing. Jeez. In addition, the pitcher's attributes and game performance will have a positive or negative effect on the speed and effectiveness of your pitches. Change the pitching interface setting to pulse to turn this feature on and get ready to show your skills with pulse pitching in the show. I'm under the impression they got rid of this at some point. But again, what I love about this series is that it throws in stuff like this that might be worth trying out. It, I mean, I always used to use the meter pitching in the other versions I played. Well, let's see uh, what else we can do. So I'm using pulse pitching. So what's a knockout game? I already did a simulated game. What's a knockout game? Oh, this this is kind of annoying. Let's see how it goes. Change up. Whoop, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I got it. So I guess I'm supposed to hit one of those red squares, huh? Okay, change up. That's too big. Well, I got something. I might need to change the difficulty on this. I'm going to use pulse pitching anyway. Okay. Hall of Fame legend, rookie, veteran. That's yeah, one level lower. All right. Okay. Uh, sinker. Too big. Yeah, it was too big. I want to see where it ends up next time. Fastball. That's not that's a good size. Yeah. Not where I wanted it, but it's a good size. Okay, uh fastball. Well I guess we'll throw high fastballs. Kind of big. But it's in the strike zone, which is what counts, as long as, I want, as long as it's in the strike zone. Okay, can I throw a slurve? Let's see where it ends up. Yeah, I like that. Pretty accurate. Got it. Okay. So I can make this work. Do a bit more practice. Fastball. Giving it, I'm giving it 10 pulses. And I try to hit it on the 10th pulse. That's not where I wanted it, by the way. 
Let's see how many zones I get. Uh, change up. Uh, that can go anywhere. Yeah. The strike was not where I wanted it. Of course it is. Change up. This won't drop very much. Ah, that's a good location. Got it. It's a ball, but I got it. How is that a ball? <laughs> Literally right inside the square. Stupid fuzzy pitch count. Okay. Change up. And see how good your uh, reaction time is now with these with this lag I'm supposed to have on this DVD recorder, huh? Okay, a uh, sinker. Too big. Got it. How <laughs> how at your boy, right? <laughs> Five chances left. Y'all yeah, take it. Look at that. Okay, so that was a decent result. Change mode. Locate. This isn't going to work. I'm fairly certain this won't work. All right. Uh, this won't work. Um, change up. Nice location. But it's going to be high. Nope, it's not. I got it. So just throw change ups, I guess. Change up some fastballs. He wants me to throw a fastball. Yeah, they're, they're, they're on the left-hand side of the screen. All the button icons were glowing. Yeah, it might be high. Darn it! <laughs> Just missed it. Okay, uh, 22 chances, huh? I can do a sinker. Yeah, good enough. Ah! Darn it. Thought that was a good location, actually. Let me do a change-up. Good location. Might be high, though. Yeah, nowhere. Guess I have to go in the center of the circle. I was hoping it would drop a little bit. Fastball. Too big. Yeah, it was too big. Yeah, it was too big. Need to get it smaller. Got it. Okay. I need to drop it, though. It needs to drop. Yeah, that's not going to work. It wasn't a change-up. Okay, change-up. You have to do that. Yeah, it's decent. It'll drop. Of course, I didn't want to drop in that spot, though. All right. Slurve. Let's see how the slurve do. That should drop. No, oh, you... Oh, come on. <laughs> I call that. It was a strike and somehow, somehow it must have landed in an opposite location the computer expected. Stupid fuzzy strike zone. That should count. Nope. Okay. Enough of this. We'll change modes. Let's do pitch type. See what happens. I'm just curious what these options are. Okay, uh, circle. Wow. What the heck? So he wants me to throw a slur. Too big. It's going to be a ball. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Somehow ended up in the strike zone. That's perfect, right? What was my timing on that? Yeah, how was my timing on that? Perfect. So it was a perfect release. It was just way outside. That's slightly early, I think. Maybe I don't have to throw a slurve. How does that sound? <laughs> Stupid slurve. You can practice on a weak batter, I suppose. 
Yeah, that was late. Just late, huh? Let's let this one drop. That's just late. And it's way outside. So here's a strategy. How about I just throw strikes and don't worry about where it lands? See, that's, that's perfect. Where does it end up, though? Hey, I got it. <laughs> well, it's a K-slurve. Like, why would you throw a slurve to that location, I guess is the point. Yeah, see, that's a strike. Wow. It's got some filthy stuff, though. Don't say he doesn't. That might be too big. Was it paying attention to the pulse there? <laughs> All right. So I'll tell you what. Let's do a simulated game with this pulse pitching and see how it goes. Okay, uh, change mode. Yeah, so this is the only simulated game that's worth playing. Well, I'm slightly disappointed. But hey, it's MLB The Show, so I'll find other ways to play this game. But simulated game's good, I mean. I'm just, it's a good excuse for me to practice my pitching in a, in a, you know, in a quick, you know, home run style environment. Okay, he's telling me to throw it outside. Okay, let's throw a slurve then. There we go. So this should end up on the inside. Yep, perfect location on that slurve. So I located it. So I started it outside, just above the belt, chest high, and it wound up inside belt high, which is what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to do a fastball. The catcher wants me to throw it down here in the corner. Yeah, that's a good location. <laughs> I took it. Look at that. That was a nice. That was a nice pitch. Perfect strikeout pitch, actually, but we aren't throwing strikeouts yet. Here's a slurve. Let's see where this one ends up. Not bad. He got it. Crap. Stupid blooper. I thought I had him, too. I was up 0-2 in the count. Somehow got a hold of that. So where did that pitch end up? The game doesn't tell you, I guess. Yeah, the game won't tell me where the pitch ended up. Yeah, the game doesn't tell you where the pitch... Oh, yeah, that's where it ended up. Okay, so it ended up... At... So it ended up on the right side of the plate, about belt high, and he got it. Which was a pitch that I got a strike on the first on the first pitch, but anyway. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to where the uh, catcher wanted me to throw it, so how about I put a change up inside at the knees. I don't know where that pitch ended up, but it was a foul. So I'll count it as a strike. I do want to know where that pitch ended up, because I wanted to make sure it was in this cold zone. Okay, that was belt high. I don't want it there. It's not a bad location, but the perfect location would be low and inside. So let's do a sinker right there in the cold zone. I wasn't paying attention to the, I wasn't paying attention to the pulse, though. Another foul. Up 0-2 in the count again. <laughs> Yep. So that location was not bad. Just late, huh? Slurve. So let's go high and let the slurve leave the hot zone. So the slurve is going to leave the hot zone. That's too big. <laughs> but he swung at it anyway. Three Ks on three pitches. Well, three strikes on three pitches. Okay, that was way late. Uh, let's see, change up. My confidence isn't great, but you know what? We're going to be fine. Change up. Good enough. That was outside of the strike zone. I've been throwing a lot of strikes, I admit, and I'm usually happy with that. The catcher wants me to throw it right there. You must be kidding. I'm going to throw a high pitch. Ugh. I was aiming I was aiming inside the strike zone. That location, but inside, high and outside. Okay, let's draw a fastball. It stays away from this hot zone. Too big. Yeah, the circle was too big. I think I was just late. 3 0, so we gotta throw a strike. So I'll tell you what, we'll throw a That's too big. But it's a K. I mean, it was inside the strike zone, but there was no telling where it was going to end up. That's the problem. So how about I throw a change up, but keep it outside if I can. 
That's good. I don't like that location, but it was inside the strike zone. I wanted it lower. Okay, uh, sinker. This could be a strike. It is a strike, but he made contact. He's going back to the track. No, he's caught it. He's going to tag up and go home. So that's a sack fly. He's going to ding me for that, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to ding me for the. Yeah, they're going to ding me for the run. Should have kept it. Uh, well, I was hoping keeping it high would be enough. Fastball high. That's too big. Yeah, too high. Okay, let's try a, a fastball. That drops. That's a ball, but I'll take that called strike. Thank you. <laughs> Slur. Let's keep it below the belt. Ah! Too much. Okay, um, did it, did it, did it change up? This will drop below the belt. I don't think it dropped below the belt, but it's still an out. It's a rundown. It's a rundown. I'll take that out. Fielder's choice. Yeah. Fielder's choice. You're gonna, that's a point. You're going to give me that? Well, probably because the runner, yeah, the runner advanced. So I'm slightly disappointed in that. But that was an out, you know. I wasn't paying attention to the catcher signal, by the way. Good location. Or not. That might be a gapper. No, we got it. He's going to tag up and go home, so... Did he drop it? He must have dropped it. These people suck. He was a sack fly, so it wasn't out. Fastball high and, out, high and outside. Good enough. That's a good location. Not exactly where I wanted it, but it was high, which is what I did want. So we can throw this guy some uh, change-ups low. Well, not in that spot, but it's still a strike, so I'm not complaining. O2, throw whatever you want. You can do whatever you like. Too big. But it's okay. So maybe I can get a 5 out of this uh, simulated game after all. Slurve. Keep it high-ish. I don't want it there, though. Yeah, it's almost a strike. Okay, throw this guy strikes. This is ridiculous. Fastball. Good enough. Just keep it away from the hot zones and it'll be fine. Okay, change up. Good enough. Perfect location. Wait, wait, wait! Of course, that was a, not a good location for me. And I give up another hit. Wow. I guess I'm not going to get five. I might get four, though. That was a terrible batter, and I see he somehow got the ball past me. I mean, I had him. I, I was ahead in the count. I threw a good pitch, and he just got to make contact with it. Yeah, typical Strasburg, huh? He has filthy stuff, but I guess control seems to be a problem. Got him swinging on that one. This could be out. Yeah. I think it was outside of the strike zone anyway. Let's hope it'd be a strike. Yeah, it was inside the strike zone. He just got it. Fastball. Let's keep it below the belt. Hopefully. That was too high. That's a foul that's a foul out. First baseman got it. Okay, so I'm at four. The best result is nine, obviously, but Let's see if I can get a five. I was hoping to get a... So four is a pretty good way to salvage this outing, I think. Home run ability. Is that what that meter says in the top right-hand corner of the screen? HR ability, and below that, my stay speed. Might want to make your interface more readable for uh, standard definition. Just saying, guys. Let this one drop. Let's do an easy strike. Whatever. That's a foul. So you have to first pitch strike. I'll take it. Fastball outside. Perfect. This will be a strike. Okay. So we're up on two. What do we throw? Throw whatever you like. Slurve. 
Good. Perfect location. And that is an out. So I got my five. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, so I gotta get so eventually at some point I gotta shut people down, but five isn't bad. 